Hey y'all, what's up? So, whew, today marks day four of praise and worship. And the reason why I'm doing my breath like that, y'all, is because the attacks changed. Like last night it was sleep paralysis. Now it's just confusion. Um, and I know that God is not the source of confusion, y'all. But if I'm going through this, I know that many of you have been and are also going through this as well. So before I even get into anything, I just want to say a quick prayer. Dear Lord, my Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, not just for loving on us, but, to allow, but for allowing us to know our identity in you, Lord God. God, we thank you for showing us that despite what the enemy may throw at us, Lord God, he is already defeated. God, you are revealing that his time is running out and therefore he is getting desperate, God. God, he is attacking your children. He is attacking your people. But as you said, my Lord, we will stand. We already have the victory, Lord God. So God, in this moment, anyone that may be struggling with their faith in this moment, anyone that may be struggling with their dreams and visions, Lord God, I bind and send back to the fiery pits of hell any forms of witchcraft, any forms of the occult, in the name of Jesus. God, you have cleansed and sanctified us with your blood. You have told us that we are marked. We are covered by you. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, Lord God. God, we thank you for your love. And God, we pray that you continue to reveal the blueprints that you continue to reveal the tactics of the enemy, Lord God, so that we are prepared to fight against it. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I say this prayer and I seal it with the blood of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Hold on, y'all. I got something to about to throw up. Ugh, I'm still kind of sick. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. But... Okay, let's get into it. So, I want to say, title of this praise confuses the enemy. Right now, Satan is thinking that he could confuse God's chosen people. Let me say that again. Right now, Satan is thinking that he can confuse God's chosen people. But what he's doing, it will not stand and it will not work in the name, in the mighty name of Jesus. So what I want to say is, is what do we know? And what has God been showing me in my dreams before? A whole lot of other, like, for some people, was it just like y'all was having y'all normal dreams? Super prophetic, God showing you what's going to happen, whatever. And then suddenly it was just a switch, like so much darkness. Like, if you guys can agree, like, please comment below because I'm just baffled, but also too i'm not moved or anything it's just i'm like dog like just just go back to where you come from like we don't want nothing to deal with you because our father already told us this battle is won so you just need to back back like but anywho um as much as i want to say you know there's being confusion caused we also know that god has given us a war strategy Praise confuses the enemy, okay? Praise confuses the enemy. And so today, we are going to sing a song that I sung last week in Daily Manor. It's Praise Him in Advance by Marvin Sapp. Because that is what God wants us to do. We shall not get distracted by what we see in this time. But just know that God has his people covered in the name of Jesus. Mm, in the mighty name of Jesus. Anytime I want to say that, it's like today, it's like the mighty name. All right. <clears throat> I've had my share of ups and downs. Times when there was no one around. God came and spoke 
these words to me praise will confuse the enemy i've had my share of ups and downs times when there was no one around god came and spoke these words to me Praise will confuse the enemy. So I started singing. I started clapping. I started dancing. People were laughing. Cause they knew my problems. And they knew my pain. But I knew God would take them away. Oh. I've had my share of ups and downs Times when there was no one around God came and spoke these words to me Praise will confuse the enemy So I started singing I started clapping I started dancing, people were laughing Cause they knew my problems and they knew my pain But I knew God would take them away That's why I praise Him with my hands That's why I praise Him with my dance He's given me a second chance. Come on, let's praise Him in heaven. Praise Him. Open your mouth. Praise Him. Bless the Lord. Praise Him. Come on, everybody. Praise Him in advance. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Come on, everybody. Praise Him in advance. Dear Lord, my Heavenly Father, we are listening to your instructions, Lord God. We are praising you through, hallelujah, Lord God, praising you through the warfare, praising you through the attacks, praising you through the unknown, Lord God, because we know at the end of the day, like you said, you have assumed the victory. All we have to do is sit still, Lord God, and rest in knowing that you are God. And that you are working and fighting on our behalf. Be calm. God, we thank you. God, we thank you. Dear Lord, my Heavenly Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, I seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Amen and amen. Y'all. I just pray that everyone stays uplifted during this time and know that God is delivering in seven days. The enemy is going to get a big smack. <laughs> smack down. Boop, boop, boop. And I ain't going to lie. I'm like, God, I know you told us to just do this, but I'm ready to be there too and knock him down. I'm ready.
We thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you. Because of who you are, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank. that you guys have a blessed day today i pray that you can sit we continue to make it through this fight together y'all um i have been getting your emails i have been getting the encouragement i have not been replying as of late um but i will reply very soon you know but i just want to let you guys know that i appreciate the encouragement y'all do not understand i appreciate the encouragement because not only do i understand you know that there are certain people we're all going through these attacks at this moment so the fact that you are still able to uplift and encourage me it means everything i thank you because if i could be honest out of all spiritual battles i faced since thus turning my life over to the Lord. And I'm talking about the knowing spiritual battles. You know how you've been fighting battles you don't know. I'm talking about the battles I know that I've fought. This by far is the most challenging one. But I know I will not be defeated. My faith is rock solid. My faith is strong in the Lord. But I just wanted to be honest with you guys. Like, it is hard. But I have the strength to get through it. We have the strength to get through it. God will never put more on us than we can bear. And together, together, we are greater together. Hallelujah, Lord God. Y'all. Like yesterday. It's just been just random stuff, but I just remember yesterday having sleep paralysis. And the last time that I had sleep paralysis was right before God blessed me with my brand new car, y'all. I was laying in my bed. I don't think I've ever shared this dream. This was months ago, like over six months ago, seven months ago. But I had a dream where I was laying down, but it was like I was up. And I was laying down in my room, but I was up. I was awake. I was aware, but I couldn't move my arms or nothing. And all I remember, I don't know if y'all remember like those old school movies where you would see a shadow pass by the window. I'm laying there and I look over and I see like a shadow. And it was like a very distinctive shadow. It was like an amber, it was an amber glow to it, like the street lights and whatever. Because in the Airbnb I was standing at the time, it had that. And then all out of nowhere. I just see, and it was like a Freddy Krueger type looking image almost that had went past the screen and whatnot. But God know, I didn't know all that stuff was evil. And it was like, I couldn't get up. I couldn't move. I felt like I couldn't say anything. And that's when I knew, I think that was my first or second real spiritual attack that I know of. It was just one of those things where I woke up and I was just like, God, what is this? And I noticed that before anything new is on the way, before you're entering further or elevating higher in your calling, for some reason, there's always a crazy attack. I know why the reason, but y'all get what I'm saying. I just wanted to say to you guys that what we're going through 
is not in comparison to where God is about to take all of us. Let me say that again. What we're going through is nowhere near in comparison to where it is that God is taking us. So I pray that we all stay leaning on him, that we stay trusting in him. Because many people have fought many spiritual battles. You get what I'm saying? So everybody's aware of what's going on right now. But I got, but God, I just pray for everyone's strength in this hour, God, to be heightened. For everyone's faith to be heightened. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray. And I seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Ooh, and I cover us with the blood of Jesus. Cover our homes with the blood of Jesus. Cover our vehicles. Cover our children with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. I will talk to you guys later. I pray that you guys have a blessed day. Um, I'm going to be going ahead and spending some more time with God. And I pray that you do too.